You know, we live in a day and time where we're constantly trying to improve upon something. Uh, if you buy a new cell phone, like if you bought the Apple 13 uh, iPhone, guess what, 14's coming out already, right? As soon as something comes out, they're already worked on perfecting it. They're working on making a better model. They're working on making what you have obsolete because we want bigger, we want better, and we want it now. That's what technology does. Hi, I'm Shauna. This is my handsome husband, Pete, and we're going to Family Discipleship. We're inviting you into our home to come and study the Bible with us. We are both ordained ministers with the Church of God, and we love uh, devoting time to the Word and teaching our family. We just want to share that with you. Uh, we are on the parable of the sower, and in that, Jesus, it is found in three of the four Gospels, and in that, Jesus is talking about a seed being spread and that seed going on four different kinds of soil. And this is what he says in Mark chapter 4, verse 14 about, <clears throat> it says, the farmer sows the word. Okay, so last lesson we talked about that we are the farmer, right? We're It's our responsibility to share the word of God with others. And here we find what the seed is. Mm -hmm. The seed is the word of God. You know, in the opening, I talked about how we're constantly as a society trying to improve upon everything around us. Something that does not need improved upon is the word of God, right? Our churches, our pastors, our leaders should not be looking for a cooler way to share the gospel message. Shouldn't be looking for a less offensive way to share the gospel. Shouldn't be looking to take stuff out of the gospel message that might offend others. What we should be doing is just giving the same message that Jesus Christ delivered and giving the word to the individual. Sometimes we overlook the fact that the gospel is just very powerful it is very powerful it will penetrate the heart of the hardest criminal and it will comfort um, the pain of the one dwelling in the deepest valley uh, we have to understand that God is uh, one that loves us one that has given um, the highest price for us, the, the life of his son Jesus gave his life for us and the gospel is um, is the main focus of the word of God. Jesus is the word. And it is offensive, right? It, it tells you that you are wrong. It corrects you. It lets you know, hey, you're going down a path that is incorrect. You need to turn around and head back towards God. So it is supposed to be offensive. It's supposed to be a slap in it's the corrective. face. Right? It's supposed to wake you up, hopefully. So you say, oh, no, I am on a path to judgment. I am on a path to eternal damnation because my sins have separated me from God. I have to do something to get back to God. And that something is Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Uh, we are all on a journey in life. Uh, and our lives have been written out by God. But we have to make a choice whether or not we want to live according to the book that he has for us. Um, and uh, we get the opportunity and have free will. God is a gentleman. He won't force his will upon us, but he will give us grace and he will give us mercy and he will show us love. And uh, we need to be um, very loving toward others and to share that seed with others. You know, once we have had that revelation in our hearts, we should definitely, that should be something we want to spread. Man, if you heard good news, you know, you knew everybody around you was waiting on something, waiting for a breakthrough, right, waiting for an answer, and uh, you had that answer, uh, you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to keep it to yourself. You know, there's infomercials. You know, I used to work for a company that had infomercials that, you know, would run at two, three, four o'clock in the morning because they knew people were up and they, they couldn't sleep and they were troubled and they were just looking for answers. And one, uh, one of the, the answers that most people are looking for is finances. You know, they want to be able to, that get rich quick kind of thing, that easy thing. And, and everybody is always looking for an answer. And sometimes when people have answers, they want want to sell it to you. Mm -hmm. But the thing about the gospel is it's free. Um, God is giving it as a gift and all you have to do is accept and embrace it. Right. We were studying this lesson the other day, uh, uh, right before I was going to bed, the kids come in, we're all laying in bed and we asked the kids, it's like, how do we make sure we're sowing good seed? And what's ways we can sow good seed? <clears throat> well, Judah, our four-year-old says, when you see someone doing something mean, you go up to them and tell them Jesus loves them. And we're like, that's great, Judah. 
But don't just go walking up to people doing stuff. I mean, mommy and daddy needs to be with you, right? But his heart was right. Yeah. His heart was, we've got to lovingly share that Jesus loves this world. So going forward, we want to remind you, there's four things a disciple Jesus Christ will do every day. Exalt God, encounter God, edify yourself by reading the word of God, and engage this world for Jesus Christ. Until next time, may God bless you.